Hello everyone and welcome back to PAX and Recreation and today is PAX Recreations and Blushes or Pouches because we are back to the Gamer Pouch Saga from Ultra Pro and this time we have both sides of the equation. We have the most normal thing which is a D20, in this case is a D20 dice bag, not to be confused with a gamer pouch or gaming pouch. And we have one of the most beloved additions from uh, Bloomborough, which is Fox Jace. And this one is a gaming pouch. So we're going to check both and see what's up. And actually, you know, compare it with the other plushies that we reviewed so far. If you want to see the other plushies and how they are useful for their function, which is, well, carry dice, check the link or check the playlist. We are here to help. And if you have any doubt, don't. Don't hesitate to reach and ask in the comments. I will try to reply to you ASAP as possible, as Michael Scott will say. So this is <laughs> this is Fox J's. So this is the art. This is the plushie. <laughs> like what what you what you what you order, what you get. Uh, one of the ears is like okay, there you go. Like so interesting texture on the on the on the wizard robes uh, and the interesting section here i have to say um i think that you know this is a victim of the circumstances this is supposed to be like more like this and because of well it's a plush and it you know trans packaging and transit and all that is like squeezed so but it's a very cute plush of jace um you know with his cape and everything not bad um and it has a secret in the back right so you have your Jace Fox and all that, which is pretty cool. And then this is the main attraction, which is Jace is a, also a gamer pouch. And it's supposed to carry, let's see, they didn't change the description. So comfy pouch, size to fit Ultra Pro dice or other small accessories, attachable hook and heavy duty zipper. So it's supposed to carry dice and well, Magic the Gathering has a lot of D20s. So we're going to get back to our trusty dice bag and as is the tradition unload it and see how many over like oversized d20s we can fit in here because let's be honest this is a plushie if you like it be my guest it has a you know a carbine hook or whatever is or attachable hook or whatever here so you can remove it by the way by, uh, so if you don't like it but you can just hang it from anywhere your backpack or something and it's down to personal preference at the end of the day it's a plushie and a nice one i have to say not the best plushie ever but a nice plushie nonetheless and it doesn't have any weird tag anywhere which is interesting because normally the plushies from magic the gathering have tags uh, this one doesn't this one just has the ultra pro tag which is interesting i think of it there is some threads in here but you know it is what it is um so it feels like it's cool because of the robe but uh, it feels like this can be the most sensitive plushie of them all because any wrong movement and you can just something can be ripped or anything like that but i digress so we just since everything is subjective we just need to measure the one thing that it has which is the function so how many d20s can it carry so let's go with oversized d20s we go with one and yes, this is a weird visual, I know. So we go with one, and I can tell you that not much is going here. We go with two. We can go with maybe three. Again, you likely can fit maybe one die more than what I normally fit in these videos, but you need to really insist. And I don't want to insist because I don't want to damage them. But see, you have like four D20s, and I think that's it. Like, I can't add any more die in here. Like, you can go to the sides, but then it won't close. So, four oversized D20 seems like the correct size for Jace. And it doesn't look that bad. Just his belly is, like, semi-square and rigid. But besides that, you know, you can have some die in there or some other stuff that you want to hide. Because unless you know, you don't know. But then if you know, you know, right? So it is what it is. So four oversized D20, that's the limit. And as you can see, things are pretty, very snugged in there. And uh, now 
for comparison's sake, let's see the normal D20s, the, one that come, the ones that come with the pre-release. So we can put one, we can put two, we can put three, four, five, six, and I maybe can go for a seventh. Yep, well, actually, maybe we can go for an eighth. Let's see. Yep, eight. But I don't think I can go over eight. Or maybe you can, but I don't want to stress it. Obviously, you need to close, otherwise it doesn't count. And there you go. Eight D20s. You can see that the belly is like stretched to a point. So that's why I don't like to force it. And this one feels like the most sensible of all of them, just because of the way it's built uh, and the colors it has and all that. So eight D20 and four oversized D20, which is interesting because I don't know if uh, oversized D20 is that exactly the double of volume of a D20, but you know, it works. So that's my boy Jay's and that's not bad. Now you can compare that by watching the other videos and the sizes of the other companions. So we had the Mir last time, we had the Kamigawa Spirit, we had uh, the sliver and likely everyone's favorite Mike Wazowski which yes technically is Fibbleput but it's not really and it's the one with the weirdest texture likely because it's also the one that fits the most and maybe because it's the first they did look at this back well but if you want to see more details on this go watch that video please so and let's see so these are the the, the, the gamer pouches not to be confused with Gamer plushies, which will be a better name, I, I will say. But no, this is a gamer pouch. You can see that it's, it's there. You can read it. Um, and then Ultra Pro also has like D20s of all sizes, right? But this is a D20 dice bag. And this is one of the multiple colors they have. I picked purple because if you want to be royal, royal. So. Yeah, they had black, right? So it's not a Magic the Gathering color, although purple is normally used for black. So D20 dice bag is literally for dice. This this one says that it's for dice and other things, but it's called a gamer pouch. And this one is like, okay, it's a D20 dice bag, but it's a D20 dice bag or it's a D20 dice bag. So it depends. Plush bag, plush bag for holding dice or other small gaming accessories, detachable zip, zipper closure. So literally it's the same as our characters from Magic the Gathering. But in this case, it's a D20. Now, the finish is some somewhere here nor there, like some of the corners. Like, you see some of this stuff, like literally just saw me just opening it. So maybe it was just residual, but uh, yeah. So the finishing is somewhere there. This is very fluffy. It's a plush after all, but it, it feels like they try to make it work like a D20, but it doesn't. I don't know if it was the intention, but it will never because of how, how this thing opens. So it will never be a functional D20 or something that looks like it. And as long as you have this, obviously it will always stop that way. So, But it kind of holds in, in certain phases, so you can at least pretend. Now, let's see the size of this, because again, this is a piece that I see stones. Uh, and it's not what you expected, right? <laughs> you expected like some white hollow space, but not really. It's like a clam, like all this white interior. So it's like Ultra Pro, ages 8 plus. So you are supposed to push and insist, but you can't push too much because since the, the zipper doesn't open much, if you push too much, look at what happens at the at this level, right? So let's see how many oversized D20s. I'm expecting that this, from the entire saga, this has to be the one that fits the most just because of the size of the, of the pouch itself, right? Of the hole. It has to be. But... You never know. So let's see. Oversized D20s. One, two. See, like they, they are there. So you need to like really push them. Two, three, four. And then this happens, which is annoying. Like it comes. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. I don't have to force them. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, let me push down, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20 d20s, which is, a, I really, I have exactly 20 d20s in my bag, which is weird. So you can push them. And I, I, I could still argue that you can fit more. So at least 20 d20s, which is pretty good because, you know, this is a cool visual. Like you open your d20 plush and it's full of d20s. Now, because of the nature of this, I would prefer that the hole was like more, you know, deep or something or more hollow because they, they feel like they are all like, like too, too close here instead of like using the full space, which is weird. And you can push to this side because if you push too much, you see that the, the, the lid comes with you. So it, it doesn't work because it's, you're holding the lid with your fingers. So 20 d20s and we can fit more. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten d20s and it will still close. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And well, I had 24, which is a shame because it would be like 20, 20. So 20 D20s and 20 oversized D20s. Will they feel? Will they fit? Will they fit? Yes, they do. So again, I was I was expecting this because again, this is the D20 pouch. Like there is no other purpose to this than to hold die. And again, 20 D20s and 20 oversized D20s. And I think we can still fit some more in here. I can just bring more dice, but I think you get the point. This is what it is. This is the heaviest right now because it has all the die. Now, I think it's very convenient. You can actually throw this at someone and it will kind of hurt them, but not too much because it's still a plushie. So it will hurt them because of the weight, not so much because of the corners or anything. So obviously, if you want a plushie, go with, you know, J's or whatever, but, and you can, hide something in there, maybe four D20s at most, oversized D20s, but if you want to carry your D20s, what better than a D20? And they have multiple colors too, so you can just pick the one that you want. The problem now is when opening, right? If you just pick any D20, it's okay. Like, you, let me pick this one, right? You play and then you put it back. But if you have too many, as is the case, if you try to pick one in particular, you can see what is going to happen. And I, I know what you're going to say. Well, if you do it with your bag, it's the same, but not so much. Because the open the bag opens to a degree and I can just go and pick the light that I want. And here is like if I want to pick one of one from the bottom, it's like, yeah, I need to remove a lot of them. And then be like, oh, okay, this is the one that I want, right? And to a degree, you I could understand like who wants that many dice in a bag if not just to store them, you know as a concept, not well, maybe, you know. So up to you, I showed you the functionality. Let me know what you think about this and which one is your favorite of all that you've seen so far. Obviously, to carry dice, objectively, the D20 is the best one, which, you know, it's appropriate. It doesn't balance itself, by the way. It just As you can see, it just vomits, vomits dice. Um, and yes, it, this happens. Like You have to actually hunt for them. I wouldn't be surprised if you, like, put this for the washing machine or something, which I don't know if they're washing machine friendly. I am assuming they are. Maybe. Um, and... Does it say? Nope, it doesn't say. Okay. And like, I wouldn't be surprised that any any die is left or if less be, is left behind here or something. So, you know, it is what it is. But hey, it's very nice and um, very nice. And I kind of like it for what it is. And you can use it for other things too. But obviously, to you know, a D20 for D20s is poetry. It rhymes. So this is the duet this time. Let me know which one you prefer. Obviously, I think they have different functions, uh, but this one pretends to be for die, for dice and other things, and it can only hold, hold four, but you can compare it to the other ones from Magic the Gathering Universe. And let me know if you would like to see other, like if you, if you could choose any creature from Magic the Gathering to make a gamer pouch, which one will be and why? That's, that's the question for today. And if you're not that much into magic, but you're into Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, just give me your favorite creature, monster or Pokemon. Like, we know, right? Like, we are, everyone is a friend here. We can just share multiple card games. It works. Let me know which one would you like to see like that. And maybe we can make some noise and Ultra Pro will be like, hmm, that's a good idea. And, you know, maybe we get it. Maybe we don't. But until next time, I hope you like it. Like and subscribe. Because I need to say that because YouTubers. And I will see you next time on Packs and Recreation. Bye.